Hi guys, sorry I can't be with you today. I'm flying to Germany at the moment and obviously I can't be live and Skype from plane. So I've made you this video so you can learn all about my module that I do next semester after four years and for the MSc students called Constraint Programming. Gene Freuder, or Eugene, hence the E, is the founding father of this really exciting area. Gene Freuder says that constraint programming represents one of the closest approaches computer science has yet made to the holy grail of programming. The user states a problem, the computer solves it. So if you like programming, this is the model for you. If you like the idea of programming when the computer kind of does most of the work and solves the problem and you don't have to write it out yourself, then this is definitely the model for you. So give you an example of how this works in real life. I did some work, as most of you know, at NASA for a while. If I was at NASA, everything I did was built on top of constraint programming. This is one of the things we did, which is called the Stressful Observation and Prediction System, or TOPS. Yeah, we sat around for a while thinking of the acronym. And what it did is it collected all sorts of data about the weather. So we've got space-based data, air-based data, ground-based data, some things like the Met Office, the weather climates and forecasts, which again come from people at the Met Office, but also other kinds of sources of data. So maybe your grandfather keeps a thermometer in the back garden and records the data on the internet every day. We want to know that. What it did is it sucked in all that data and tried to predict, will there be a natural disaster tomorrow? So will there be something like a forest fire in California? And it was a fantastic project to work on because it really shows exactly how powerful this technical constraint program can be and what we can what we can use it for. So you're now thinking, mm, that's all very well, Karen, but you're not going to give me a year to work at NASA. So what will I do? Well, what you'll do is I'll give you one real world problem and say to you, guys, I want to model it as a constraint satisfaction problem and learn how to solve it. Then you'll undertake a bit of research that means that you will do something for the first ever time. And what you'll actually be doing is taking the problem I saw of you and modifying it slightly and trying to see if you can come up with a new problem, a new bit of knowledge that no one's found before. The details of this module are, it's one to our lecture per week, one to our lab per week, so quite a normal module setting. There's one group assignment. You work together to write a paper about your research. And I don't have a fixed deadline because I don't really mind what it is. So let's just negotiate it to fit in with the other modules. We can work it out together. I hope you just choose to take my module. Thanks, guys.